People will come in for the first time and they'll just be in shock. When John Robinson saw this red brick building for sale near downtown Salt Lake City in 1992, it was love at first sight. The one thing I'll give the Mormons is they build very good buildings. Built in 1930 as an LDS ward house and later sold to the Catholic Church for a school, the old church would soon become his family's new home. 23 years later, his wife Shawnee takes us on a tour. We'll start in the heart of the church. This is our main bathroom. And it used to be a bishop's office. It was one of the early remodeled projects that John did. When we moved in, there were 17 urinals and one shower. Sunday school classrooms now serve another purpose. This is our bedroom wing. Wide open spaces abound. On a particular Thanksgiving, I counted that there were 13 people in here. Everyone had space to fix and make and do what they were doing. After all, it takes a small army to prepare dinner for 50 or 80 in what was once the church's multi-purpose room or cultural hall, and now it's used for the Robinsons' cultural events. We throw a theme party every April. The chapel where services were once held was stripped of original elements before the Robinsons bought the place. We now use it for storage. But weddings still take place in the 2005 edition. Probably had about five or six weddings here. This is the room that we'll use for a ceremony. We set up chairs in rows, and this middle area is an aisle. How many people can you get in here for a wedding? We could, we could fit up 80 to 100. There are other modern conveniences. Five-car garage. And an elevator, of course. After all, it's the easiest way to the spookiest spot in the house. Okay, right. are you ready? In the basement, a winding wonderland of horror awaits. This is where Dracula sleeps year-round. The creature from the Black Lagoon emerges from the floor, a mummy lights up the dark, and King Kong claims a victim. And that's all before you get to the mad scientist's lab. Some visitors think the old church really is haunted, but the Robinsons say the only ghosts they're sure of are the ones they've created themselves. Shawnee loves doing it, and I'm just the techno guy behind the scenes. 